Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in a town called Mannar in Sri Lanka and in this video we are going to go to a couple of historical places in this town. The first one is Mannar Fort which was built 500 years ago and the next one is a baobab tree which was planted 800 years ago and called as the largest tree of Sri Lanka. Currently, I am standing in the Mannar Bridge which connects the Sri Lankan mainland and the Mannar Island and we are going to walk from here to the fort first and then to the largest tree. Before getting into the video, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this and let's start walking before it gets too late. We came from that direction from Sri Lankan mainland to the Mannar Island. This is the Mannar Bridge guys, which was built in 2010. When we walk along this bridge, on the right hand side we can see the oldest bridge and at the far you can see the old Dutch fort. We are going to the fort now, let's keep walking. We have climbed down the bridge now. When we go straight, we can go to the Manat town. I need to go in the right hand direction to go to the fort. That is the Manar bridge we came from. You can see the beautiful sea around and on this side the Dutch fort. You can see moat around this fort which has been an additional protection for this fort. Looks like this is the main entrance of this fort guys, let's go inside. This is how the interior of this fort looks like. This fort was built by Portuguese in 1560 and in 1658, Dutch took the possession of this fort. In 1696, it was extended and developed. Since then, it was called as the Dutch Fort of Manan District. Currently, this fort is under the control of Sri Lankan army and open for public and tourist visits. As you see, this fort was built using big granites, limestones and bricks 500 years ago and it is still standing strong. When you come to the upper floor, you can see a tower here. I'm not sure what is this structure is. It can be a bell tower or it can be gallows used back in the days. This fort is damaged a lot and in some places you can see it is renovated using new bricks and concrete blocks. Okay. 
While we walk along the top floor of this fort, we can notice each room and sections of this fort. Most of them don't have roof and open to the sky. You guys can also see a lot of trees inside of this fort. Most of the trees are palmyra trees. Look at this section at the below. This looks like a room with no door or entrance. As you see here, the only access to the bottom is the ladder made of steel bars. I think it might be a prison or a bunker. You can also see more old buildings inside this fort when you walk along the top floor. On the top, we can also see a canal running along the edge of the walls which was used as a drainage system to collect rainwater. In this place we can see another room which is filled with water and fishes are being bred here. I think Sri Lankan army is doing this job. You can see more colorful fishes down there. In each corner of this fort, there is a watchtower structure like this where the soldiers normally stand and protect the fort. You can also see there are openings on three sides of this tower through which soldiers can observe the surroundings.
Now we are on the other side of this fort and you can also see a watchtower on this side. Let's climb up and have a look from this side. side of the port you can see many fishing boats, the quiet sea and a beautiful view from the top of the port guys. On this side of the port also you can see some more rooms and sections built in this port. Most of them are damaged. Alright guys, we almost finished walking around this fort. Such a historical and beautiful place. Now we are going to the next location, the well-known Baobab tree of Manmad district, which is considered as the largest tree in Sri Lanka. Now we have arrived at the destination guys. This place is called as Palli Munai and this is the largest Biobab tree. You can see the details of the tree on this board here. The perimeter of the tree is 21.1 meter and the height is 10.5 meter. It is a very thick tree guys. It is believed that this tree was planted by the Arabians who came to Sri Lanka for trade purposes in early 1200s. They planted this tree to feed their camels and since then this tree has been standing here. It is nearly 800 years old and still being maintained well. Alright guys, we came to the end of this video now. In this video, we went to two historical places in Manair district, the fort and the largest biobat tree. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, don't forget to leave the thumbs up on this video. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this and I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.